Hey guys, it's Gabriel and today I'm going to discuss Polya's problem solving strategy. Now for the steps. The first step is to understand the problem. Make sure you understand what the problem is asking for and what information will be used to solve the problem. The second step is to devise the plan. Figure out what method you will use to solve the problem. We have different kinds of methods, namely making a list of known information, making a list of information that is needed, drawing a diagram, making an organized list that shows all the possibilities, make a table or chart, work backwards, trying to solve a similar but simpler problem, look for a pattern, write an equation, perform an experiment, and lastly, guess a solution and check the results. The third step is to carry out the plan. Use the method that you picked to solve the problem. Keep in mind three things. Number one, work carefully. Number two, keep an accurate and neat record of all your attempts. And number three, Realize that some of your initial plans will not work, and you may have to devise another plan or modify the existing plan. The fourth and final step is to review the solution. Look back and double-check your answers. The problem will be in a basketball league consisting of 12 teams. Each team plays each of the other teams exactly twice. How many league games will be played? So to solve this problem, the first step is to understand the problem. So in order for you to understand the problem, you need to restate the problem in your own words. It can either be in English or in Filipino. It's totally up to you. Now the new restated problem is, there are 12 teams in the league. Each team plays exactly two games against each of the other teams. Determine the total number of league games that will be played. So comparing the two statements, the second one is much more easier and simpler to understand compared to the first one. The next step is to devise a plan. So the method that I'm going to use today is working a similar but simpler problem. The problem that I thought of is 12 teams can only play once. Now our equation will be 12 times 11 which is equal to 132 divided by 2 since it's the perspective of both teams, so our answer will be 66 games. The next step is to carry out the plan. Based on the process we developed on the previous slide, 12 teams that can only play each other twice will have 66 games. We can now answer our given problem, which is 12 teams will play each other twice. Now, our equation will be 66 times 2, which is equal to 132 games. The last step is to review the solution. We can now check our work by having the 12 teams be represented by letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. With these letters, we can now make an organized list of all the possible outcomes, which is this list. As you can see, per row, there is a specific number of games, which are 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, which will come to a total of 66 games. Since each team will play each other team twice, we can multiply 66 by 2, which will be equal to 132 games. Since our problem is a word problem, our answer should be in sentence form. So the final answer will be 132 league games will be played. So that's it. That's the end of my presentation. I hope you learned something new and I made math a little bit easier for you. Bye!